Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to give you an intro to Microsoft OneNote. Now, what is Microsoft OneNote? OneNote is a digital note-taking tool that automatically syncs and saves your notes so you can access them anywhere, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your PC, or whether you're on any type of device that has access to the web. So before we jump into this tutorial of OneNote, I just wanna give full disclosure that I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, the first thing I wanna start with is how do you get OneNote? Let's jump on the PC. Here I am on my Windows 10 desktop, and one of your questions might be, well, how do I even take advantage of OneNote, and how do I get to OneNote? Well, the good news is OneNote comes with Windows 10, so if you have a Windows 10 device, you already have OneNote. And how do you get to OneNote? What you can do is you simply go down to the search field and just type in OneNote, and what you'll see happen is OneNote will show up as the best match on this list. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on OneNote here, and you can see the OneNote app open up. Another way I could also get OneNote is, imagine you're on a Chromebook. If you wanna use the OneNote app, what you could do is you simply open up your web browser, and so I open Chrome in this case, and then go to office.com. Office.com is how you're gonna access OneNote. You could click on sign in, and if you have a Microsoft account, you could sign in with your Microsoft account. I'll go ahead and sign in with mine. Um, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you could also create one for free by clicking on the Create One button. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Once I sign in, you'll land on office.com and you'll see that you can access OneNote by clicking on this button. Um, in addition to OneNote, just as kind of an aside, you could also get Word, Excel, PowerPoint also for free through office.com. And if you have a phone, whether uh, let's say it's an Android device or an iOS device, you can also download the OneNote app uh, from the App Store or the Google Play Store and you can install that on your phone. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at the desktop uh, OneNote app that comes with Windows 10. The first thing that I wanna introduce in OneNote is how OneNote organizes your notes. Uh, here you'll see kind of the main screen of OneNote that I land in and one of the things that we're going to click on first is up here in the left hand corner you have this thing that's called show navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and the way we organize OneNotes is if I click on this top bar here these are all my notebooks and you could think of this really as just a notebook, an actual physical notebook. and. So I have many different notebooks. So I have my Kevin's notebook. I use a notebook to organize all my YouTube content. Um, I have another uh, notebook that I use to organize trips. Um, so today I'll show you my trip notebook as an example. If you wanna add a new notebook, all you have to do is click on this add notebook and you could create a new one very easily. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my trips notebook. And now the way that OneNote organizes it is so you have this big uh, notebook and then within that notebook, you could set up what are called sections. And so just as an example here, um, you know, I have this trip notebook and within there I have trips to Europe and then I had a Paris trip, a Germany, Czech Republic trip, um, trips within the United States and so I have a list in here and then also trips to the Caribbean and so each one of these is a section. And within that section then I have something called pages and so I'll, I'll just show an example with my Europe trip. So here under Europe um, I had a trip that I organized to Paris and then I had a trip that I organized to, the, to Germany and the Czech Republic. Um, so just a way I could organize this, and if I, wanna, if I wanna add new sections, I could simply click on add section. If I wanna add a new page, I could click on add a new page. Uh, what I can also do here is not just add new sections, but you could also create a section group. Um, so let's say that you know I have Europe, United States, and Caribbean in 2019. I could add a group for that. So here I'll click on, let's say, I just call this 2019. Uh, but what I could do then is I could drag items within that. So in 2019, I could look at all my trips under this category. Um, so you could really organize it as much or as little as you want, but you have a lot of tools where you could set kind of different hierarchies to your organization uh, for OneNote. So quite a bit of power there. But one of the really nice things about OneNote is your ability to take notes. And so today I wanna show a few different ways that you can take notes in OneNote. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of give an example here. So let's say that you know I wanna go on another trip and so I'm gonna add a page. I just clicked on add a page down here and maybe my next trip that I'm planning is to Norway in Europe. So I'm just gonna add a, a title called Norway. And so when I update the title here, it automatically updates the page name to Norway. And so maybe as part of this trip, I wanna go to a few different cities. So maybe I'll say we're gonna go to Oslo, maybe I'll go to Tromsø, and maybe I'll go to Stavanger. Um, there's a few different cities in Norway that I wanna visit. Now what's nice is, uh, you know, here I could highlight the text and you know, I could apply a heading. 
Uh, maybe I'll make that a heading too, and I'll make that a heading. But here if I click under, you'll see all these kind of different heading styles I could do. So maybe in each city I have, uh, we'll do our activities, and then I have hotels. And so maybe here we do museums, and then maybe I'll say a bus tour. Um, so what I could do is I could apply different headings uh, kind of depending on you know how I want it to appear. Um, yeah, you know, here I could change uh, font color, so maybe I make this red. I could bold things, I could underline things. So there are lots of different ways I could format uh, my text. I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to uh, just kind of a standard list. And what I can also do is, let's say under activities, uh, what I wanna do is, let me apply heading two. So let's say that you know here's a list of things I wanna do. I could also, uh, I have this list here and I can make it a to-do list. So maybe you know here I wanna make sure I check out the museums and I wanna take a bus tour. And then I could check them off as I do them. So you can make a list. So I could paste in photos. Uh, so here I'm just gonna open this up and we're gonna look at Stavanger and let's look at some images. Here's a pretty awesome picture of something I'd love to do if I could go on a hike while I'm out there, of these people standing on a cliff edge looking down at a fjord. So I'll pull that into Stavanger, and I copied that picture, and then I could just paste it in. Along with just pasting in pictures, I could also record audio. Um, so here I could click on Dictate. When we're in Trumso, we wanna make sure that we check out awesome hiking locations where we could look down at fjords. And what I can also do is I could record audio. So instead of just having a dictate, I could actually record. When I go to Trump show, we want to make sure that we check out museums. We want to go on a bus tour of the city. I really love bus tours because it's a nice way where you could just sit back and really enjoy the sights. I could insert a photo and I could also do it from a camera. So here my computer is going to turn on the camera. And so there's my picture. Um, so it's very easy to pull in photos, to pull in text, to pull in audio recordings, uh, to dictate text to OneNote. Um, OneNote makes it really easy to capture content. Now, along with just capturing text and photos, what I can also do is I could draw. So if I have a tablet, in this case I'm on a desktop, but let's say I had a tablet, I could very easily uh, draw content. So here I'm just using my mouse. What I could do is I could, I could choose different colors. I could go with blue or I could go with green. Um, I could insert shapes. And now what's kind of neat is, let's say if I highlight, let me highlight this uh, text that I just wrote in here. So, hi, how are you? And then I could do ink to text. And what it did is it automatically converted, it looks like it screwed up the hi, but it says, how are you? Um, so it was able to convert my writing to text. And you could also insert shapes. Uh, you could use different pens, uh, pencils, highlighters. Let's say uh, you know I want to do a yellow highlight on my content. I could go ahead and highlight stuff. So aside from just entering content in, um, I could also use an immersive reader. So let me click on immersive reader. And what that'll do is it'll open up a reader that'll just read the content to me. So here, So what that'll do is, let's say I have a page of text, instead of me reading all the text, I could have this immersive reader just read it to me. Now one of the things that's really nice about OneNote is being able to get back to content. Um, so let's say I have a friend who lives in, let's say Stavanger, and I wanna make sure I ask him about what we should do there. So I'll say, ask Brian about what to do in Stavanger. Go back to my main view, and under the checkbox, what I could do is I could add something called tags. And within a, with, with a tag, what you could do is you could very easily find anything with that tag later on. So maybe I'll say this is a question. So I'm gonna mark it as a question. And now what's really cool is I'm gonna click on search. And what I could do is I could search for text that's in my OneNote or I could look for tags. So here I could click on question and this will show me all the questions that I have in this notebook. So ask Brian about what to do in Stavang. So I can very easily then go back and find all my tagged items. What I could also do is if, let's say I don't remember where I called out Trumso, I could just search for Trumso. Um, and so here this page includes Trumso and if I click on that, it'll just bring me back to that location. So being able to get back to notes um, is very easy, whether it's because I tag stuff or whether it's because I'm just looking for text in my notebook. There are very nice ways to get back and recall information. All of these notes that I'm creating, by default, all of these are synced in the cloud. And that means that I could access this on any device. So if I go on my phone, um, if I go on the web, I'll be able to see these notes uh, very easily. So here I'm gonna open up my browser. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click into, I'm gonna click into OneNote and then I'm gonna to navigate to my uh, trips notebook. And what you'll see is all of this content that I just created on my desktop uh, will show up on the web. So here I am in my web notebook and here you see that 
all of my content that I just created on my desktop is also showing up on the web. So that's one nice thing. You don't really have to worry about where you created it, what device it was on, wherever you create it, you'll be able to have access to it as long as you have OneNote. It's kind of lonely if you're just working on something by yourself. So I'm working on this trip book and you know I want my wife to come on this trip and also my son. And so what I might do then is if I click on this share button, what I can do is I could simply type in names. Um, so my wife's name is Carrie, so it's already shared with her. But if I wanted to, let's say I hadn't shared it with her yet, I could simply type in her email address and then I could either uh, make it so she could edit it or she could just view it. Um, but if she has the ability to edit it, she could then come into this notebook um, and these pages. She could add her content, she could add photos, she could add audio. Um, and then together we could figure out our trip plan. Not only do I use it for uh, trip planning, but you could use it if you're in school, you could use it for your classes. Um, I use it to organize my YouTube channel of what content that I wanna create. But OneNote is just an awesome tool to be able to manage all of that. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I just wanted to give a quick tutorial of all the core functionality in OneNote. Um, hopefully you're using it to capture some awesome notes and to organize all your content. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, other tutorials of tech products, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content comes out. And if you have any other ideas, any other topics you wanna to see me cover, uh, leave a comment down below. I read all comments and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And that list is in OneNote. And hey, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye.